Hey guys, welcome to the new video. Today it's a foiling day and I'm going to grab this foil, the RS Flight F4 by Neil Pride, which is a full carbon foil. And today I will actually be using the big wing because the goal for today is to make a flying or foiling jibe, which is not so easy for me. Because on this foil with a short fuselage, the pressure point on the board is actually very far back. It's like right in front of the front of the back foot strap. And this makes it very hard while driving because you have to put your, we your weight way back on the board so it will not stop flying. And for me, always once I shift the sail, I fall off the plane. And what I noticed is once I initiate the jibe, what I tend to do is go very far to the front on the board. And this works nice for turning the board around, but once I shift, I lose control and crash. And so what I will try today is not go super far to the other side, maybe like, like this, so that I can actually control it. Because once you let go of the sail, you lose a lot of control and the weight needs to stay more or less in the middle of the board where the foil is centered. So yeah, as you can see, this screw actually regulates the lift, uh, the, the angle of the back wing. And if you give it more angle, it is easier to start flying and keep the lift. And if you make it with less angle, it's actually better for high wind. Usually I have this pretty flat, but now for, for the foiling jibe, I will actually give it a little bit more lift so that I can make the jibe easier. So let's go foiling. foiling jibe 30 times or so now and I just keep pressing I don't know why I don't get it but as soon as I shift the sail and fall down and if you have any tips for me how to get past that because I have zero pressure in the sail I'm pushing against the sail even in strong wind but the foil keeps foiling down I don't know maybe it's the short fuselage on this foil but I don't really know what it is uh, I hurt my head, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah.
Keule so nach vorne reingekippt. Deswegen fährt sich das jetzt auch gerade scheiße. Aber ich hatte gerade einen richtig geilen Topspeed. 28 Knoten mit dem großen Wing. Alright guys, that didn't really happen like I planned it. I didn't make the foiling jibe today. I mean I came close a few times, but I just touched and like 80% of the times I crashed. And yeah, I actually hurt myself a little bit on the leg and on the head and yeah, but whatever. It's a learning experience, but to be honest I'm a little bit frustrated because I've been foiling for more or less a year now. This is a little bit frustrating for me and I don't really know why. I mean, I think with the very short fuselage of this new pride foil, it's hard to initiate the jibe, as I said in the beginning, because the pressure point on the board is so far back that once you start to pull out the foot of the front strap and put it to the other side, that you really need to put your weight very far back so in order the board stays flying. And I think it will be easier on something like a starboard foil with a 115 fuselage or even the newer Neil Pride which has, I think, a 10 or 15 centimeter longer fuselage. But whatever, I don't want to blame it on the gear because I know other people can do jibes on this Neil Pride foil on the old one. So why can't I? So I will keep trying and I will make sure to continue this series until I get the foiling jibe perfectly. So make sure you stay tuned to the channel. And I really want to thank you and welcome all the new guys to the channel. We've had a lot of new subscribers in the last month and we're on the way to 1000, which I'm really happy about. So yeah, let's keep this channel rocking and guys, see you in the next one.